Let's try our hand at volumetric clouds. Go to the scene at a glance, right click the cloud models category, and add component of this type. Rename it 3D Clouds. Show advanced features and enable volumetric rendering. Open the haze atmosphere in the scene at a glance and give the speed boost a 25x. This is great for previewing cloud changes and when we're done we'll put it right back to normal. Back in the cloud model editor, basic page, let's set bounds in a view. We've done this before so go ahead and just set your corners about where they were for the 2D layers. Open another lake sky camera in this view and remember, this one still has terrain rendering enabled, so let's go ahead and pop up menu again. Render options, terrain, terrain. We should now be ready for just sky and clouds, so save the project and render a preview. Let's make the clouds look a little less ominous. Go to the editor's basic page, reduce the shading to 25%, save the project and render another preview. We're done playing with cloud settings, so you can go to the Atmosphere Editor and switch the speed boost back to normal. The right view pop-up menu, Render Options, Terrain, let's turn Terrain back on, save the project, Render Preview. 